Hello South Africa. Today is Friday, August 5, 2022 and here are the top 6 stories that have made headlines for today. Sopra confirms one death from Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. The South African Health Products Regulatory Authority, Sopra, has confirmed a fatality linked to the vaccination with COVID-19 Janssen or Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The fatal case was a result of Guillaba syndrome, GBS, a rare disorder in which your body's immune system attacks your nerves. Sopra says the case has been classified as a vaccine product-related event where the JNJ jab was linked with the occurrence of GBS in the recipient of the vaccine. The authority reported that there were no other likely causes of GBS that were identified at the time of the recipient's illness. Musi Maimane robbed at gunpoint at Cape Town Bar on Wednesday. The politician, Musi Maimane, was reportedly robbed at gunpoint at a bar in Cape Town on Wednesday evening. Musi told the media on Thursday that he was recovering from a traumatic experience after being robbed at a bar on Wednesday night. According to a report by EWN, Musi was among several patrons who came face to face with three gunmen who stormed the Cape Town bar. Mokushal Ghana resigns from the DA on Thursday. Mokushal Ghana, prominent DA Gauteng MPL, announced Thursday that he was leaving the party. The 39-year-old Mokushal said in a statement he was leaving the party, but not politics. Today, I have resigned as a member of the DA and as a member of the Gauteng Legislature. I am resigning to join an emerging generation of leaders and activists committed to mobilizing and organizing to return power to the people of South Africa. I leave the DA with a clear conscience, no regrets, and a cemented sense of purpose and calling to serve the country. I am grateful to my colleagues, activists, members, staff and public representatives, with whom I have shared two decades of hard, yet fulfilling work. I wish them well in the future. Said Mokashul. Enibini latest, families to receive report on cause of death. The Eastern Cape Provincial Government has reportedly confirmed that the families of the 21 teenagers who died at Enubini Tavern in East London in June will be the first to know the results of what led to the deaths of their loved ones. Earlier on Thursday, the Eastern Cape Provincial Government confirmed that the results have been received, however, the families will first be informed and then the results made public. In July, the provincial government ruled out that the 21 young people were killed due to a stampede. Overconsumption of alcohol and speculation of carbon monoxide were also ruled out. This guy got caught for impersonating Becky Seal during lockdown. A man was caught impersonating police minister Becky Seal to spread false information about the lockdown regulations. Zakili Morris Nkosi, 34, faces charges of fraud following a summons to the White River Magistrates Court in Pumalanga. Nkosi was caught by the Hawks Serious Commercial Crime Investigation Team together with the Hawks Cyber Crime Investigation Team. Another inter-Cape bus shooting in Cape Town. Another inter-Cape bus shooting took place in Cape Town on Wednesday, making this the third shooting targeting the bus company this week. Two inter-Cape buses were targeted and shot at in attacks in Cape Town around 20 hundred hours. In the first shooting, the driver was shot at on the N2 highway near Nyanga. He was shot and wounded in the stomach and leg, causing him to lose control of the bus. The bus then rolled down an embankment. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.